At the end of this lecture, you should have an understanding of table spaces in PostgreSQL. A table space is the location on the disk where PostgreSQL stores data files containing database objects such as your indexes and tables. PostgreSQL uses a table space to map a logical name to a physical location on the disk. So if you check the disk location of your table space, you should see some files in the directory. There are two default table spaces that come with PostgreSQL. You have the PG default table space as well as the PG underscore global table space. These two table spaces are automatically created when the database cluster is initialized. PG global table space is used for shared system catalogs. The PG underscore default table space is the default table space for the template 1 and the template 0 databases. So pretty much when you are creating a database, if you don't change the template database or specify the table space location, the default table space will be that of the PG default table space. Once a table space is created, any database can use that table space, given that the user has sufficient privilege to access it. This means that a table space cannot be dropped unless all the objects in the database using that table space have been removed. So table spaces pretty much allows you to control the disk layout of your PostgreSQL database files. So there are two main advantages of using table spaces. The first is if the initial partition or disk where the cluster is initialized is out of space, you can create a new table space on a different partition. However, once this partition is created, it doesn't automatically solve your problem. You'd have to move an entire database or couple large index or table to this table space to free up some space in the initial table space that is running out of space. The second advantage is that when you have multiple table space, right, and you analyze your database and you see that this a specific table or index is accessed frequently, you can now put that index or table on a separate solid state disk to improve performance. Or you could also put tables containing archived data on a slower device that is rarely used. Or you can also put rarely accessed data or archived data on a separate partition which contains slower disk or cheaper storage. In the next lecture, we're going to be taking a look at how you can create a table space.